Hello, Godly family. My name is Jesse. I'm a pastor here in America. I'm in my home today, and I want to share some encouragement for you how to have freedom, how to have victory over the guilt and shame that's in your past. Now, as we start out today, please type in the country you're watching from. Also, if you have any prayer requests, let us know in the comments. You'll check out the devotion on the God Life page here, Facebook, and read the full devotion as a post today. And lastly, if you want to follow Jesus, type in, I want to follow Jesus, so our team can help you grow in your faith. Now, let's think about the past for a minute, and we all have mistakes, we all have sin, we all have errors, bad decisions in the past, and a lot of times that's linked to shame and guilt. So what do you do with that? Here's a few things that are solid from the Bible. First of all, God specializes in using a lot of people who have quite a checkered past, and that includes Paul, who killed Christians, David, adultery and murder, Moses, murder, Abraham, liar. There's just so many people with flaws in the Bible. So don't be too discouraged if you look in your past and you notice that there's sin there. Know that God's grace is greater than our sin. He forgives, he restores, he takes away guilt and shame. And God can still use you in amazing ways to build up his kingdom and to touch and transform many lives. Now, in addition to that, you also uh, can remember that you know, your past mistakes don't define you. You have an identity in Christ. Your identity in Christ is deeper than any past errors. Uh, don't let the negative people have too much power in your life. There's going to be people who oppose you, undermine you, try to remind you and hold your past against you. Those aren't the people you want to be close friends with. They're not looking out for you to bring out the best in you. God is bringing a new song and trust him in the new direction and the new season. And so when you think back in the past, learn from those mistakes. Learn and then pass on what you've learned to other people. You can be part of a solution. You can break patterns in your family. Generations of sin can be broken. Also, that past pain can fuel you towards a greater purpose. You know, the Apostle Paul killed Christians, but then he led so many people to Jesus and he wrote scripture. Sometimes our past failures and our bad decisions can become part of our purpose in our passion for the future, in seeing lives uh, where people are prospering, abundant life in Jesus, and you become an instrument where you tell your story and you also tell the story of Jesus and what he's done in your life. There's an opportunity right now uh, to trust Jesus if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior. And also, uh, anytime we're in the middle of sin, God gives us a way out, a way out of temptation and a way out of sin and those patterns in our life. He wants to break the strongholds and the footholds in our life, listen, the devil can't make you sin. It's a choice, and God's word has power. When Jesus was tempted, he quoted scripture every time. So memorize scripture, quote scripture when you're tempted. There's a way out. The power of God is stronger than the temptation. And sometimes you need to leave and you need to flee and get, get away from a situation that's going to be destructive. So don't be weighed down by the past. But like Paul says, we press on towards the goal to win the prize, heavenly. This is in Christ Jesus, that we look forward to this inheritance, this reward, we look forward to heaven. And we're not gonna live in the past. We're not gonna go back. It's impossible to do that. So don't let the past define you, but find your identity encouragement in Jesus, and then use what you've learned to build up other people. I hope that's encouraging today. Uh, again, dive into scripture, spend time in the word each day. I don't know if there's a better habit than to read God's word and then be a doer of God's word. And God provides the Bible, a love letter. You might have it on your phone or you might have a hard copy, but get into God's word. Let God's word get into you as well. Abide with Jesus. You're going to bear much fruit. Uh, type in any prayer requests. Let us know which country you're watching from. If you can hit the share button, that helps us to spread the good news around the world about Jesus. As we do that together, God loves people from all nations in all generations. And again, check out the devotional on the God Life Facebook page. Have a great day with the Lord.